What's going on, everybody? Brandon Schaefer here. Make sure everybody can hear me and that I'm good. We're live. What's going on, everybody? Thanks for joining. I'm going to get right into it here. I just want to make sure everything's good on that side before I go any further into it. That always looks like their emojis look like some kind of candy or a duck. Gumdrops. Yeah, gumdrops. There you go. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to get into the painting here, doing this bridge scene. I'm sure you guys have seen it the last few days if you're on YouTube. We don't have the little... Hmm? Yeah, it's, it's okay. lagging. It takes, it takes a minute. Okay. There's a delay. All right, so I'm gonna. Um, I already got the sketch here, and what I'm what I do is before I start, I look at the scene and I kind of, kind of get the harmony down. I can kind of see the colors involved. You know, it's mostly a, a green, yellow, green, blue, greens. Uh, you know, mixed with this very faint red brick type of uh, bridge here. Give me one second here, folks. I just gotta open up a larger thumbnail for me to actually work from. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, it should be a pretty cool painting, I think. This is a photo I took from my travels in England. Actually, my girlfriend took the photo, but it's fine. We took the photo. I took the video of it. But this spot actually hasn't been on any of the travel videos yet, so I don't want to ruin it, but um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So let's get into it here. I'm going to start now. So I'm going to start by just mixing up some color here. I'll show you guys what's going on here. And I'm trying to figure out where I should start. I think I might start with the trees just because there's a few different greens there, you know, kind of, uh, keep me loose in the beginning here with color and have some fun with it. So there's a lot of grayish type of greens, lighter greens, yellow greens. So this is Viridian and Cadmium Yellow Medium. And I'm probably going to want some red in there. I don't want to mix too many different things here at the beginning, but as I go along, I'll add different colors to it and such. Is anyone speaking any language? Yeah. A bunch of people said hello. So it's lagging. No. If there's no new comments, well, it's lagging. It's a minute without. That's lag. People are constantly typing. Okay. Oh, no, we're not. Alright. No, that's fine. That's fine. I think people are watching. Just curious. Did it say? Alright, so... Just starting out with some greens here. Some of these trees actually are very cool. I think they're willow trees. So there's a lot of uh, cooler greens and stuff lighter it's kind of a difficult color they're they're light but they're not blue green they're more of a grayish type of green but anyway all i have to do is just make it a different looking green what kind of paper are you using uh, this is arches cold press uh i think it's 140 pound 140 pounds this is actually it's cut up from a uh a block of watercolor, um, watercolor block, and the paper. I don't know. It doesn't. It's not as good as quality as if you buy it by the sheet, for some reason. But it's still pretty good. So yeah, arches. My friend says that they're not willows. 
Um, yeah, I think they are. I'm pretty sure they are. I'll show it. I'll. You know, argue what trees. I was there, dude. You know, argue what kind of trees they are. I'll show you in a big. Uh, no, they may not be willows. <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> Getting fired up here. I'm passionate about my trees, man. No, I don't think they're willows, but they, I don't know. The the leaves, the color reminded me of willows. I'll, I'll blow up the photo here in a second if you want to. Inspect the trees. Yeah, I'm going to, we're going for it now. <laughs> uh, Jewel says, any tips for watercolor beginners? Uh, just do it as much as you can. Yeah, basically, like, really get to know the materials, how it reacts with water. Um, you know, I, I'm going to be making some videos about it, how I went about it. And a good thing to do for beginners is something I did in my sketchbook. Uh, if you saw the video of my, um, I looked through my first watercolor sketchbook video. Um, I think I did one or two monochrome sketches. So what that means is like I did them with just one white, um, not white because the paper's white. I did it with just black watercolor paint. And I did the whole painting just white and black. And I think doing that um, for a few paintings and that will allow you to focus on brushwork and other things and how the paint reacts rather than focusing on color, which can be very difficult. Um, when you're first starting out. Lee Wyron wants to know if you're worried about water blooms painting this way. See those really light gray trees? They're probably not willows, but I don't know. It reminded me of, the color reminded me of them. Anyway, what? Uh, what was the question? Lee Wyron wanted to know if you were worried about water blooms painting this way. Water blooms. Is that what? Is that what? Yeah. Um, I mean, sometimes it's an issue. Um, it's 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 very tricky. Um, from what I've, you know, I'm still figuring things out here. Like if I went back into this damp area with more water, it would create kind of this blooming effect. That, I, you know, I, I try not to worry about it too much. I kind of just go for it. But it can be. Uh, it can be a problem. Colin wants to know if your table is flat. Yeah, it is. I'm just working at, it's actually a dining table. It's just a wooden dining table. Um, but yeah, it's completely flat. Um, I think I'm going to hit next. I think I'm going to do this grass next because it's green as well. I'm going to keep it on the cooler side because this grass is actually in shadow so there's kind of like this spotlighting effect uh, it was kind of cloudy that day so it's a little tricky just mixing up some colors here Jay Ash wants to know if you need to be really good at sketching hold on do we need to be really good in sketching if we have to start watercolor drawing or just fine would do Like, I mean, it definitely helps to be good at drawing um, when it comes to art. I mean, because it's, it's really the foundation of any art that you do, mostly, um, you know, painting, drawing, whatever. And you got to have some kind of drawing ability. I mean, you don't have to. It's not necessary, but the better your skills are, I mean, the better your work's going to be. You um, don't have to be able to start watercolor no the more I mean yeah I mean the more you do it the more you're gonna get better and you don't have to be really good for just watercolor paintings um, you know someone that my grandmother she's been doing watercolor for I don't know probably 10 years now maybe a little longer and I mean she's she wasn't she didn't spend years drawing or anything and um, she's gotten a lot lot better over the years at drawing and just watercolor in general. And I think anything you do a lot and often, I mean, you're going to improve. 
So yeah, I mean, I think just you got to think about it in like a long term sense. I mean, it's I think most people they want this they have this uh you know, they want something quick and fast, quick instant gratification, that's what I was thinking of. Especially nowadays with social media and all that kind of stuff, you know, people don't like commercials for like 5 seconds, you know, everybody everything is quick and fast and Art is, you know, the total opposite. Like, you got to put in years of work and dedication and if you really want to be good. But it's not necessary for something like this. I mean, you can do a quick pencil sketch. You know, if you if you want it to look realistic, I mean, your sketch has to be somewhat realistic. You got to be able to get the perspective right and get the lines right, everything. To look realistic, it doesn't have to be perfect. <clears throat> so I hope that answered your question in some way. Cool. <clears throat> Pans or tubes, is that what you said? Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I don't really know, like, if there's a better or best when it comes to that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because um, the pans, I mean, you refill the pans with tubed. You can refill the pans with tubed watercolor, so it's... Uh, I don't know that there is, um, it, it's more of just like the quality of the paint, you know, different brands and stuff. I haven't really tried a lot of different brands. I'm using uh, kind of an assortment of brands right now. Um, some old watercolors that I had laying around, student grade, and then some other professional ones or art, artistic, uh, artist grade ones. But it all just depends. I mean, the, this, this is watercolor out of the tube but I mean, it ends up drying and then you just re-wet it, it's just how a pan would be. So it all comes down to price. I think the tubes, I mean, I think just getting your own tubes um, and a little plastic palette is the way to go for me personally. But um, if you wanna buy like a little set that has pans already, you know, certain colors and do that. I mean, it just depends on, everybody's different. Um, I'm gonna go for the sky now. I'm alive. We're live. Um, I might go through at some point and read everyone's lows, but that might take a while. That's fine. Hello, everyone. That's how you greet everyone. Yeah, I know. Thanks for joining. Appreciate it. If you have any suggestions for future paintings in the live stream you'd like to see, just let us know. I know people have said like portraits, painting my cat, stuff like that. I may do that eventually. But, uh, you know, I'm trying to just mix it up. Last week I did a, a bird, a puffin. That was pretty cool. So now I'm doing a landscape this week. Just trying to do some different things. Alfie Hand says, hey, Brandon, random question. You mentioned once you like metal music. Have you discovered any good bands recently? Um, not recently. I don't... It's... Um, I've kind of discovered all the bands that I like. <laughs> as far as metal music um and a lot of the bands that i used to like i don't like anymore like they're just not making good music anymore but um yeah i don't listen to metal all too often anymore i don't really listen to music that much anymore um fun funnily enough if that's a word uh an album that just came out was it by a chick named aurora i like her stuff <laughs> which is way different from metal but uh, it's called, her album's called Infections of a Different Kind, but I kind of like her first album better. Um, but uh, yeah, as far as bands and stuff, like one album that just came out <laughs> uh, that I'm probably going to get is by a band named Behemoth. Um, but yeah, I don't listen to a lot of different stuff. I like Opeth, they're a good band, progressive metal and stuff, but. Yeah, no recent bands, really. I Made of Chalk says, have you tried Daniel Smith? Everyone says they are the best. I know, I've, I've heard that, but I have not tried them yet. Um, I'll probably eventually, I will. Right now I'm using, um, I've been buying a lot of M. Graham, and I really like, uh, 
I really like how they are, the consistency of them and stuff. But um, yeah, I may eventually try the Daniel Smith ones. So I'm just focusing on the, focusing on the sky now, trying to get some some kind of softness, cloud shapes. I'm trying to soften up the tops of the trees here and there a bit. Um, just going crazy with it, basically. Watercolor portrait would be awesome. Uh, yeah, I've never actually tried a portrait, so that would be pretty tricky, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Amanda says, loving the live, the weekend live streams. I really liked the waterfall. If fall ever comes, I'd love to see some fall trees. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I have some photos for that, too, actually. So, um, yeah, that would be really great, I think, next weekend or whenever, next live stream. That's a good idea. Marla Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. uh. Says, hi, I followed you a long time now. Just want to say hi. Alfie Ham says, that's cool. I like metal, but I also listen to different music, like folk and jazz a lot, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Folk's good. Jennifer Stump. Stump yep. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I, know, I know she is. Have you guys recovered from your UK trip? Love these videos. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we've been back. We got back from our UK trip um late August so we've been uh we've been re fully recovered and stuff and uh I'm ready to go back yeah just ready to go back ready to go on vacation again but I think that's how everyone is nobody really wants to work all the time and not be on vacation but Pega Haas says Hi, Brandon. Can you do oil and or acrylic live stream? Um, I don't use acrylics anymore. Haven't used them for a few years now. Oil live stream, maybe. Um, possibly, but uh, not in the near future. I mean, maybe. I, I'm not sure. Right now, I'm really into watercolor. And with oils right now, I just I don't have, I don't have the room for any more oil paintings unfortunately and I'm really focusing on the business side of my business <laughs> so I'm really focusing on selling artwork uh, more than I am like creating anymore if that makes sense um, Timothy McDougall says how often do you clean or buy brushes Um, I mean, with the watercolor, I don't really have to clean them that much. I just clean them after every painting session, like just in the water. I mean, it's not like a big deal about cleaning them. Um, brushes, I mean, I don't buy brushes all too often because they can be pretty expensive to get good ones. So I kind of just get good ones and you know, I've been using these same two watercolor brushes that I've just had laying around for years. And, I, you know, these just do, I do pretty well with these. So I just stick with that, stick with those. I mean, this water is going to be tricky because there's just a lot going on there. Pega Haas says, hi, Alyssa. Hi, Pega. <laughs> uh, Q8 Asami, which also, that's a Legend of Horror reference. That's awesome. Um, probably is, I'm sure. says, is it okay to suggest using 100% cotton paper? Your pieces will look a lot greater since you can layer more. Yeah, these are, this is 100% cotton. This is Arches, 100% cotton. And the sketchbooks I've been doing, um, only my first sketchbook that I showed, it wasn't, it was a crappy uh, um, sketchbook, not high quality paper, but all my other sketches, ones I did in Europe and everything, 100% arches, cotton, rag paper, so. Appreciate it though. Jennifer Stump says, I love gift shop shops too. <laughs> oh man, the gift shop saga. I really didn't think the gift shops would be that big of a deal. I like half the comments now. Even with. Make fun of me. <laughs> People love it. make fun of me. People love it. People love the gift shops. 
one guy commented on the la- on the other one. He said, I forgot who it was. Um, he said, next time you're on vacation, do a live stream from your favorite gift shop. <laughs> oh, they always crack me up at that. Uh, Jacqueline Hanger wants to know if you've tried putting uh, water or putting color pencils over watercolor. Um, I've heard of it and I've thought about it, but no, I'm, I'm, I don't really like color pencils, honestly. Oh man, this water is looking rough. Went too dark. That's all right. Uh, Linda Harvey says, I'm new to watercolor, would also like to see portraits. Been painting acrylic for a short while. Can you put acrylics on top of watercolor? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you could do that for sure. You could put acrylics on top of watercolor. That'd be pretty interesting. Some kind of mixed media. All right, I'm going for the reflections in the water of the bridge. It's going to be pretty tough. Getting the right color here in the right. Josie would also like to see water, loves seeing watercolor portraits. Yeah, I'll have to, uh, that's going to be difficult, man. Portraits are one of the toughest things, and I'm going to, I'll give it a shot, though. I'm up for it. Marla McDaniel says, what watercolor journal did you use on your trip? Oh, it was a custom one you can buy on eBay. Um, I forgot the seller's name, but it's a 5x7 Arches, um, 140 pound watercolor spiral sketchbook. And the seller also has uh, seven by ten size, which I might get in the future. Once I get a little better watercolor, I'll start going a little bigger, I think. But I'm getting there, pretty close. And I feel good about a lot of what I've been doing. You know, 80, 70, 80 percent of the sketches I do are pretty good for me. Just lost connection. What happened here? my phone. There we go. So this is the tough part because it's all water. The reflections are tough, man, because it's all soft edges and stuff, but So you kind of have to blend as you go. Sharon Merriweather wants to know, are you using a specific platform to sell your work? Um, like to physically sell it? I use my website um, where you can purchase through there. Are you still doing eBay auctions? Um, I just started eBay auctions, but that's that's for my older acrylic work. Um, that's just a kind of an experiment. I've never done that before, so I'm just seeing how it goes. Um, but yeah, my website is the main thing, but I, I mean, I use everything to promote my work and, you know, um, I'm starting to be more active on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. I mean, I use everything to promote my work and trying to get it out there but the main mechanism for selling right now is my website Evangeline wants to know have you ever painted an underlayer before the actual painting details in oil or watercolor or any painting it doesn't say I'm gonna guess watercolor I mean yeah water I mean watercolor you kind of like have to do layers a little bit um i try to paint as directly as possible in watercolor but if you're talking about oils like yeah i i do like monochrome underneath uh the uh painting on top of it arrowwise is requesting that you mention what colors you're using oh, okay we will go through my palette real quick let's stop right here for a second so my palette is, is pretty wild um I think I went over this in the previous live stream, but I'll do it again for this one. So basically, I have uh, I have two whites right here. This is just gouache. It's I don't even use it anymore. I used it 
it's very sparingly ever used. Um, but it's just like for an emergency. Like if I accidentally went over something that needed to be lighter, I can lighten it up with white gouache. Um, then I have lemon yellow, cadmium yellow medium, cadmium red, magenta, burnt umber, viridian, thalo blue, ultramarine blue, black, ivory black, uh, yellow ochre, transparent red oxide. And then these are all the same colors that are up here. Lemon yellow, cadmium yellow medium, burnt umber, viridian, ultramarine. So that's all the colors. I mean, really, I don't use the burnt umber um, anymore. I use the transparent red oxide. So that's kind of what I'm trying to transition into using uh, more of. But I mean, it's just been on my palette. So that's what I, that's what I go for. Hope that was helpful. I mean, color, like all that kind of stuff, like what color you use and how you go about painting. Like, it's all personal preference. Like, you got to figure out what colors are useful to you. I mean, obviously, I've been using cadmium yellow medium way more than the lemon yellow. So it all just, it's all personal preference. What are some of the colors? Could you point to maybe some of the colors on the paper and explain, like... The color mixture? Yeah. Is that what they asked for? No, but I'm, I'm thinking oh. that, that might help them. I mean, the sky... It's basically to figure out what kind of color mixtures and stuff is like you look at you compare things to something else. So this grass is much more yellow than, you know, the trees up here, or the grass in the foreground. So there's going to be more yellow in that mixture. It's viridian and cadmium yellow medium. And then in this, it's going to be more viridian, phthalo blue, ultramarine blues, cooler colors. And then the sky is even cooler than the grass and everything else. So there's more purples and you know, magenta, ultramarine blue, you know, it's all, uh, you know, I just figured, I just go by that, basically, I figured out in that way. Booker Rock says transparent red oxide, and then says specific, so I'm not really, I guess they want to know the specific colors on the paper, but, um. I mean, transparent red oxide is just this brown, um, it's just a stronger brown than the burnt umber, it's just a different, totally different color. Alice Gaines says, not in French, it's a pity, because you love what you do, and I am a Frenchy woman. Bunch of hearts and some dancing ladies. Uh, she must, uh, she wants it in French. <laughs> uh, her, his French is not at that level. Yeah, my French is not the, un, he, deux, trois, that's it, that's all I know. Yeah, he got us some croissants and some baguettes. Hey, got more than you got us. Yeah, that's what I guess it was like, I can't speak French, I shall starve. <laughs> um, yeah. Booker Rock wants to know if this is a picture you took from one of your day trips or the internet. Neither. This is, huh? Well, it's neither, it's a picture. It's a picture of... my girlfriend took while we were in England a few weeks ago. So yeah, I don't tend to use photos from the internet if I can help it. I like to use my own photos and I have a whole library of photos I've taken over the years. And that's what I go with, you know, I like, I like stuff that I've experienced and stuff that I know that nobody else was here at this exact time on this day. And not many other people are going to have this kind of photo. Like, it's just, that's kind of what I like about photos that I use and why I try to use my own photos because, yeah, there's probably similar photos out there of people at the same spot, but... You know, there's just less probability than if I got a photo off of a stock website, a popular stock website. You know, there could be a bunch of different photos out there. And what color are you using on the bridge? Uh, right now, it's a big mixture of a bunch of stuff: um, magenta, a little bit of cadmium red, ultramarine blue, um, a little bit of green. I mean, just that's in the shadowy areas, kind of the darker. This is a little too dark. Linda Harvey says, thank you for explaining the colors in the painting. It really helps. Of course. No problem. Uh, Timothy McDougall says, well, I got to go, Brandon. Keep it real. All right. Thanks for coming in, Tim. I appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Uh, Pega Haas says, you use mostly wet on dry techniques with watercolor. 
Would it be easier to use masking tape on the bridge and then wet the paper and do wet on wet? No, well, it's not easier for me to pull out masking tape and sit there and mask it. I mean, um, I mean, I do. I mean, the water down here is wet into wet. So, I mean, it, it's not like you don't just use one technique for the entire painting. Like, um, I know a lot of artists, they would just do a whole wash over, you know, all these different um, washes and have them all blend together in the beginning. But for me, like with this painting, it just didn't seem right for me to do that. So I just took a different approach um, for this for this painting. But, uh, you know, every painting is different. Like I do use wet into wet, but yeah, it is mostly wet on dry. Um, it's just like, that's like how I enjoy using it and how it makes sense for me to use it. But yeah, I mean, pulling on masking tape and doing all that, I mean, it's just like, at that point, it, it doesn't make sense for me to, to do that. I'd rather just paint it. Oh, a while back, Nura saying, says, oh my God, this looks like a mess. I think he was talking about your palette. Um, oh, yeah, probably. Because I was like, what? <laughs> uh, if he thinks my painting's a mess, that's fine. That's his. Uh, Lee Wyron says, I see some artists using washes, like layers from light, mid-tones, and darks and details last. What's your opinion as it seems your approach is more painterly than other watercolor artists? Yeah, I mean, I was just kind of touching on that. Um, I think, I mean, everyone's different. Everybody works differently. Um, it all just, it all just depends on how you want to approach it and how you want to work. Um, what was the question? Uh, your opinion <laughs> yeah. on the thoughts on, on going from lights to darks. I mean, you kind of do that. Yeah, I go from light to dark. I mean, the, what I try to do a lot of the time is I paint as directly as possible. So like, there's no reason for me, like if something is really dark, like the water here, and I knew it was going to be a darker value than everything around it, like at this, w with this particular painting, I just went dark in the beginning. Like I knew I was, like why put two different layers down? Hmm, we might. Uh, oh, no, we just got one. Do you have a favorite painter? Where in England? Yep, okay. I just We just got uh, oh, okay. from Russia, so that's where I think we're good. Um, yeah, I mean, for... Um, what was I talking about? Lights to dark and layers, maybe thicknesses of layers. Yeah, like layering and stuff. I mean, see, like with the bridge, I could go over the darks in the bridge right now. It wouldn't be a big deal for me to do that. And I could, see, I can do that. I don't have to save them, uh, you know, and go super dark right out the gate. But I, I try to paint as directly as possible. And that's just how I've, you know, I will say I paint a lot differently on the live streams than I do, like, if I'm outside somewhere. When I'm outside, man, I mean, it's all just, I go very quickly. Like, I can do a, most of my plain air sketches now like I can do them in like 17 or 18 minutes like they're really quick so you know these kind of live streams I just take more time and I kind of just relax and not worry about it too much um uh Q8 Asami says is there a specific watercolor artist you look up to any favorite pieces um Watercolor artist? Yes. Is that what he said? Yes, and any favorite pieces. I mean, I, I really enjoy a lot of, uh, I know it's going to be cliche, but I really like a lot of Sargent's watercolors. John Singer Sargent. I mean, I think his watercolors were really awesome. I mean, that's kind of like, I know there's a lot of great watercolor artists out right now that do really realistic things, and I like the style of John Singer Sargent. It's a lot more painterly and I don't know, just, you know, a little different, but uh, that's who my favorite would be. That's what I would say. Arrowwise says, you don't seem too concerned about getting other color, colors in your palette colors. Doesn't that mess them up? Oh, you mean like, like the lemon yellow here has like red in it and stuff? Yeah. Like, no, 
No, because what I can do, I mean, it's real easy if, if I don't want that. Like if I really need a lemon yellow, I can go like this and clean it off and then just use the towel until I get it clean. It takes like, I don't know, 10 seconds of my life and then boom, I got lemon yellow. You know, so it's it's not too much of a big deal. Um, it's real easy to clean off, I think, um, when needed. But a lot of the time, I don't really need colors that that pure, for the most part. Um, do you have an overall favorite painter? Um. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, probably Sargent is someone I always look to, but I have a lot of different artists, and I like, there's a lot of paintings I like that I don't even know who did them. Um, so I don't know if I would say, like, I have a favorite artist, but there's a lot of great work out there that I really enjoy. I'll just say that. So I think I lost the drawing here a bit. Aria says hello from Russia. Thanks for joining. I appreciate it. J.S. says, hello from India, 1.02 a.m. here, what's the time there? And I really learned from your learn drawing videos, thanks. It's 1.02 there? A.m. Well, it's 12.37 here, so. Uh, in the afternoon. Yeah, I know. I, but I how's know, it, clarifying for... I know, but how's it 1.02? It would be like 1.30, like. Well, it was at the time he wrote the comment, dear. Oh, okay, so you're going back. Well, yeah, I, sometimes you talk, and so I don't want to interrupt you to read yep. the comment as it happens. Um, Naya... I'm just saying that would have been like 30 minutes ago. That would have been at 12.02. You know what I'm saying? Like. Uh, yeah, my, I don't know. Yeah. Um, Naya A. says, Hi, love your stuff. Do you enjoy the process of painting or the end result more? I think... Uh, I mean, I do like the end results, but the process, I mean, you got to have, you can't, I really enjoy the process. I mean, you can't hate the process and, and do something like painting. Like, I, I don't know, maybe you, some people can, but I wouldn't be able to. So I, I think the process is, is where it's at. Um, for me personally, cause like if I didn't enjoy the process, like there wouldn't be the act of painting. I don't know, does that make sense? Kind of, yeah, I get you. I, as an observer, I'll say it depends on how well the painting is going for him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm trying to change my mindset a little bit now. I mean, you, sometimes like my painting, you know, I, I try to get, I try to think about it like, man, if my painting's turning out badly, like I just, I try to get pumped about it. Like I'm going to learn so much from this mistake. Like if my painting's coming out badly and I, I, it makes me want to do the next one, like even better. So that's how I'm trying to look at it nowadays. Just kind of change my mindset. My friend Liv wants to know where in England this is, but I don't know if you can say without ruining. Uh, I can, unfortunately. I can't. It's the next episode, right? Or is it two more episodes? No, it's, yeah, next week you'll find out. But I, it's a really cool location. Um, I can tell you, well, no, I can't even say where it is. <laughs> I was going to say the city, the town, but I don't even want to give away that location. It's a don't small say, town in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, don't, don't say it. Um... Sorry about that, but... I don't, I don't remember where it was. I do, but... I, well, I remember where, but not the name. No, I remember the name. But yeah. uh, Sorry, I can't say it. I apologize, but... Just stay tuned this week. Um, some epic videos, man. This is, a, this is a really cool spot, so I, I hope you'll enjoy it when you see it. Okay, I'm going a little out of order because I'm trying to say one real quick. That's fine. That don't require you to answer a bunch. I feel like this... Painting's getting a little Andre stiff. Andre Cortez says, hey, Brandon and Alyssa, thanks for hanging out. Hello. Well, thank you for hanging out, bro. Hope your weekend's going well. Love and Life says, thank you for sharing your trip to England. I will never be able to enjoy anything like that <laughs> because I am disabled, so I really appreciate you sharing. Yep, no problem. That's one reason why I did it, man. I just love sharing and 
it's going to be cool to look back on, I think, for my own self, but sharing with everybody else is pretty cool, too. You know, there's some people out there that just aren't able to go, man. And I, I like seeing other people's trips and stuff on YouTube. You know, I watch a lot of, uh, I wouldn't say a lot, but I do watch, like, other travel vloggers and stuff, and it's pretty inspiring, man. I, I want to visit a lot of places in the world and and document it, so it's pretty cool. Glad you're able to enjoy it. Sharon Merriweather says, are you on the West Coast? I thought you were all were somewhere in the eastern U.S. Nope, Cali. Now, we're in California. Um, I used to live in Delaware on the East Coast. And before that, I lived in Mississippi on the South Coast. So okay. next, we're probably going to move either to Maine or Alaska to live on the North Coast. No. Or Minnesota. We'll live in the Midwest and the North. Uh, no, you can't. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so either, but. That would just be my last place to Alyssa live. Gaines says Rio. What? I don't know. That's, okay. That's what it is. Well, thanks for the enlightening comment <laughs> and for reading that. Um, okay. Going back a bit. Arrow Y says, do you ever paint with watercolor paint directly from the tube exclusively, really moist and juicy, or mostly dry cake kind? Um, well, here's the interesting thing. Um, the M. Graham that I use, the yep, specifically right now, I have the yellow ochre and the transparent red oxide. Um, I do have cadmium red too, but it's not; it's still in the tube. Uh, these have honey as the binder, so these are actually uh, they're kind of sticky. I wish I had like a, a a tool to show you, but yeah, they're kind of like gummy, so they're actually not a dry cake, and the color is actually. You know, if you just put like a little bit of water on there, like it's it's kind of thick and very uh, powerful color. So that's kind of why I like that brand is because they have, they use honey as the binder and you kind of get this in between of it being a cake or a pan and it being out of the tube. But yeah, it doesn't matter to me. I use either. Alice Glang Gang clarified she was saying bravo. Oh. <laughs> and they, I think there's a typo. Yeah, that yeah. That makes much more sense. Okay. Um, Appreciate it. Let's see. Where am I at? Um, Man, this painting. I got to get going on this painting. Lee Wyron says, have you tried or thought of trying to wash? But then yep. Andre Cortez says he has to wash. Yep. Um, Peg. I actually just... Uh, this is in one of my blog videos coming up, but I just got a palette, another palette in the mail. Um, and I'm going to use this specifically for gouache. So that's the palette I have for my gouache so far. Um, so yeah, now if I want, I can pick when I'm outside whether I want gouache or watercolor. But uh, I'll probably keep my gouache and watercolor sketches separate. Like if I, I'll have like a watercolor sketchbook and a gouache sketchbook. That's just how I want to organize it, so. Pega Hoff says, I am in Europe, and it's 2138. Um, Damn. So, 9.30? <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, love your live stream and the fact that they are not in the middle of the night, our time. Uh, time out, basically. Yeah, we tr try to do them at different times, but, uh, you know, it just depends on the day, on the weekend, and what's happening. But uh, glad you're able to catch this one. I know it's kind of a bummer catching the replays. It's not as cool as... Uh... Yeah. Um, I was going to say in person, but it's not as cool as, like, live. Nur Eisen says, what do you do when you have art block? Um, I don't know. I haven't had it in a while. I don't really... Re I just do something else. You know, I try to get inspired again. Well, I mean, there are days where you've gone out for walks and you're to find something to paint and you're gone for an hour and then you come well, back that's, and you say, uh, find Yeah, that's different than art block, though. That was me actively searching for something, not like me... I mean, I would just try to get out of it, you know, or, um, yeah, just do what you can. I mean, I, I used to, sometimes I would take like two months off from painting and stuff. Try not to do that anymore. 
I haven't done it in a long time, but, you know, just focus on what you need to focus on in life and You know, you'll eventually get back to it, I think. Andreas Cross says, just came to say hi to you too. Hello. Thanks. Thanks for saying hi. Appreciate it. Mike Hope Fran you're enjoying the vids, videos, content. Mike Franlin says, appreciate you can't reveal location just now. Thanks anyways. <laughs> yeah, sorry, man. I really want, I mean, I'm itching to do it, but I, it would really spoil the the fun for everybody waiting, you know. Ahmed the Meme Cage says, add some minions. Gonna go ahead and say no. Um, <laughs> there are. There's little sheep in the foreground here. There, there's a yellow guy for just wearing a little sheep costume. Yeah. Um, Andre says, this is looking really good. It's getting there. Naya says, I had art block and your vids helped me. Cool. I appreciate that. Arrowwise says, what number pencil do you use for the watercolor sketch? An H. Sharon Merriweather says, H well, pencil. Your process, thank you for sharing. Zombie in Mechon says, any more figs? Uh, fig season is, I think, is pretty much over now, but I had a lot and I have some videos coming <laughs> on the figs, so. Okay, cool. Yeah, man, I'm missing the figs already, but it's going to be another year. Pomegranates are coming soon. Sri Lanka. Well, thanks for joining from Sri Lanka. That's pretty cool. Naya A says figs are awesome. Yeah. I love figs, man. I can't wait till we have a house. I can have some fig trees in the backyard. Arrowwise says any plans to make a book? You ought to. Yeah. I mean, not, not soon, but eventually, yeah. I've had ideas for years, but I'm just not at that stage yet to where I want to, um, where I feel I can really make one, but yeah, definitely, definitely is an idea. Wendy M says, hi, that looks lovely. Thanks for joining. I appreciate it. It's getting there. It's getting somewhere. I mean, just... These trees are always a little difficult getting the shapes and things right without overworking it. It's just trying, trying to get some different uh, variety of shapes and values and things going here. Kitty's a little cat says it's snap time. Yep, Kitty's napping. Alright, I'm going to move to what needs more work here. My friend Liz says, are you going to put a very light blue wash over the bridge reflection? I was, yeah, I was just looking at that. I was just about to do that. I was picking up the brush to do that. Funny that you, she read that one just then. Pega Haas says, love, love pomegranate. Peel and seed off and try it with dried mint and salt. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I'll try it. Maybe minus the salt, but I like mint. I like fresh mint. Yeah, I'm actually mixing up a blue-gray to go over the... Arrowwise wants to know what you would price this painting if you were to sell it. Um, if I were to price this painting... I don't know, probably like 70 bucks, I guess. Something like that. Yeah, probably around there. 80, 75, something. Andre wants to know if you want to sell your watercolor. Yeah, I do. Um, a lot of <laughs> a lot of the watercolors I've been doing so far have been in a sketch in my sketchbook, so I don't really want to sell those. But uh, 
ones like these, my last few live streams I've done here are on loose paper. So yeah, I wouldn't mind selling these. I'm gonna, I'll probably put them up eventually. Um, but I just uh, haven't gotten there yet. I'm getting getting around to it though. Arrowwise wants to buy it. Um, Sue Lance says really nice. Sky Blues Bloom says quite wonderful. Um, Thanks everybody. It's getting there. It's a little little more work to do still, but it's getting there. Okay. Hamid wants you to add more stuff from uh, cartoons. <laughs> um, it's all good. People have their thing. Evangeline says, are you a member of any watercolor society or plan to join one? Join one? Um, not currently, and I don't know if I plan to join one. But, I mean, maybe it might be cool. Um, another person is asking about Daniel Smith watercolor. I'm going to go ahead and just say, if you haven't, haven't tried them. Yeah, I haven't, haven't tried them but I probably will. So everyone will stop asking me if I've tried them. <laughs> um, Andre Cortez says, I, I like your watercolors better than your oils. I'd like to get one for my office. Let us know. Cool. Sounds good. Uh, Airwise and Andre, email him. <laughs> What's your email if people want to buy? Um... Info at SchaeferFineArt.com or just go on Instagram, send me a message, go on Facebook, send me a message, you know, whatever. I answer all messages and stuff, so whatever's best for you to, wherever's best to send a message, send it. Um, is there, Nelia A wants to know, is there a specific way you approach your painting process or is it different depending on your subject? Yeah, I mean, it depends on... Difference in uh, subject, where I'm at, if I'm doing it on location outside, um, a lot of different factors. I mean, yeah, I mean, every painting I just go intuitively, like, um, what was the question? <laughs> My uh, painting sure process. Post, and it does it vary depending on the subject. Yeah, I mean, every landscape, I mean, I could paint this particular landscape a bunch of different ways if I wanted to. Um, this just is how I'm going about it right now. <laughs> but, I mean, tomorrow or even in an hour, if I was to repaint this one, I, might, I may find a more efficient way to go about it. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, I just try to go intuitively and... Jacqueline Hanger says, thank you for a great live stream. I enjoyed it very much. Looking forward to the next one. Cool, thanks for thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Um, I'm guessing they have to go or something, but... Yes, I mean, that's my guess. That's fine. No worries. Arrowwise says, what surface do you use for gouache? Watercolor paper. Um, Gua use uh, you can use watercolor paper with gouache. That's kind of how I approach it. I mean, it's it's basically the same exact medium. It's just reacts a little bit differently. So that's kind of how I. I'm in the mean cage. Responded to my cartoon thing and said they are not cartoons. Really, it's live action. Also, you should watch Ooh. some of the Burn. Rider series. They are great. He said Power Rangers. Power Rangers. Burn. <laughs> okay, Power Rangers. I guess is like. Yeah, I loved Power Rangers as a kid, man. That was the thing back then. Are you going to put any of your paintings? No. But. Sharon Merriweather says, come to Seattle and buy directly at the Daniel Smith store. Okay. Deborah Smith says, I want to go to Seattle. Far, very nice. Keep up the good work. I like the lavender as your shadow. So, so nice. A list. Alice Gaines says amazing. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate it. Um, it's not done yet, but uh, I appreciate it. <laughs> I feel like it's a little too stiff or something, but I still got a little ways to go here. Mike no. Franlis says, while you don't do wet and wet mostly, you might look at doing it in some parts for effects and yields. Uh, yep. 
I already spoke about that. I do do it in some areas. I don't do it uh, a lot, though. I just do it where I think it's needed. But like I said, like paintings like this, I, mean, I, I go a lot slower than if I was outside or something. Arrow Y says, ever use watercolor pencils? Nope. I'm not a fan of like color pencils, water co color pen any kind of color pencil. I'm just I don't know. I'm not into it. For some reason, I can't tell you why. I just not my thing, really. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Okay. Um, another explanation about Power Rangers. Um. Would you like me to read it to you? No, that's fine. Okay. I mean, Power Rangers is awesome. That's all you got to say. We know. Power Rangers is great. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, got some sheep going there. Sheep grazing. <laughs> Let's see. Water. Yes, Connor says, well, sorry, this isn't a Disney Channel, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, bro. I mean, I'll say I think there's some amazing artists who do paintings of um, more fictional stuff. Like, I love Star Wars painters um, and stuff like that. But that's not really Brandon's thing, and I don't think he's ever going to do it. Yeah, I'm more into, like, realism and stuff. So that's my painter painterly realism, not, like, hyper-realism or whatever. Deborah Smith says, my son loves Power Rangers also, so cool. Have fun for the rest of your trip. Will do, already did. Appreciate it. Evangeline, Hope you enjoyed the videos. Evangeline Poe says, beautiful, colors are wonderful. Appreciate it. It's getting there. It's good. Arrowwise says, framing, matting. Um, at, maybe he's asking if you sell it. And it doesn't come with that, correct? Yeah, it doesn't come with that. Um... That'd be a little bit more. You know, I'm still, uh, the reason I haven't put them up for sale yet is I'm still, I'm still trying to figure that out. Like, how do I want to frame and mat these and stuff? And this, it's a weird size, so I don't have like, this particular painting is a, is a weird size. So it'd have to be a custom type of frame, possibly. Um, or just a, a custom mat, at least, and the frame would have to be like a standard size frame, so... Yeah, I haven't, I haven't gotten into the whole selling of watercolors yet. I'm still, I'm just getting into the selling of my oil painting. So, you know, one step at a time, but I, I'm getting there. Um, Nilia A says, where do you want to travel next? Um, I don't know. Probably to the grocery to store. To Probably to the grocery store. <laughs> um, Bali would be cool. Yeah, my girlfriend wants Hawaii and Bali, I guess somewhere tropical, but, um, I'd really go anywhere, really. I mean, I'm I'm cool with. I just want to go somewhere new. Um, mostly. But who knows when we'll get to travel next? Yeah, I don't know when we're gonna be able to do it, but yeah, I mean, I'm open for like going anywhere. Right now, our only travel is to a friend's wedding. <laughs> yeah. Andre says to Alabama. <laughs> Alabama. I don't know, man. I mean, it would be. I do want to go to Alabama eventually and check out the area down there. Oh, I'm, I'm guessing he's mostly thinking so you can visit. Yeah, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. That's what I meant. They got a lot of nature and stuff down there. It's pretty cool from what right. I've seen online. Fran Liv says, love your, your way of decisive strokes. Guess that acrylic has helped here, there. I found... I learned a lot from your acrylic bit. Thanks, I appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, it's more of like I just paint a lot. <laughs> it's funny to think I've almost been painting. I started watercolors in like 2009, 2010, so almost 10 years. But I really wasn't, when I started with watercolor back then, I didn't see painting as my passion. Like, I didn't see me being a painter until I started acrylics and I realized, okay, I really like painting. Anna Cabine Cage says, all 
also I am just recommending stuff. It's all good, man. I appreciate it. DW says, amazing likeness. You've captured the cloud color perfectly. Thanks. Yeah, I like the cloud color. It's pretty cool. Happy Boo says, vous parlez en français? Je ne parle pas français. That's all I don't know how to say. Un, deux, trois. That's it. That's all you got. I used to know one other thing, but I don't remember now. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm getting lost. Okay. Mudto TX says, or Texas, says messing with maps will break you of watercolor. Yeah, that's why I want to do like standard sizes <laughs> so I don't have to mess with it. But I, I did find a place online that, that you can order a custom mat, so I'm I'm looking into stuff. I'm not I'm not um I'm not discouraged or anything from it or buy it. Air says synthetic or natural brushes. Uh these are synthetic, I'm pretty sure. Andre says come synthetic here. some hills. Some really good views at Oak Mountain. It's literally two miles from the house. Yep. Come during the fall if you can. Alright, we'll come right now. Yeah, Although I'll, I'll fall let's isn't, let's go. fall isn't right now. They got a little while till fall probably, but yeah. we'll have to see when I have off. Yeah, one day, man. One day would be cool, for sure. I haven't seen, I haven't seen Jackson in a what, since you're little bit. Tiny, tiny. No, I saw him in Mississippi. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it is. It's been a while. Uh, Noya A says, I just got back from traveling, had an incredible experience in Pakistan. Ha! Everybody's, dude, Pakistan's the place to go right now, dude. I just would have to do a lot of research. I'm going, man. I'm, okay. I've been talking about Pakistan for like two months. And I watched a travel person go there, two travel people go there recently. I know someone in Pakistan. I just, you know me, I like to, I have to I know. research. I'm time. just saying, it's funny that like so many people are like, oh, visit Pakistan. Andre Cortez says, not this fall. You both are always welcome. Yeah, appreciate it. Uh, Arrow Y says, Colorado would be a good place for you to paint. Yep. I know someone in Colorado, too. <laughs> right, right near um, the Rocky Mountain Park. Aaliyah says, how long have you been into art? Since I was like five. I had a head start. I've been drawing since I was like five. I used to draw like Scooby-Doo and Winnie the Pooh, all kinds of cartoons. I'm trying to fix this bridge. I don't think I can do it. Ahmed says, watch Kamen Rider 555 in Kabuto. Just the first episode is depressing. <laughs> we don't really watch TV. Yeah, man, I don't have time, dude. I'm like laser focused with my artwork. Like, We don't own a TV. We don't own a TV, and I'm trying to work as much as I can on getting my business going that's my focus so Tilda Van Wells says the painting is going well very well it looks great I learn a lot from your videos not only about the technique but also about my personal process it is very stimulating and then it stops I think there's more but. cool I appreciate it man I'm glad videos are helping out in some way I mean that's kind of my goal is I just share my process and my thoughts on things and hopefully it helps someone out there there we go. I think I fixed the bridge a little. Eh. I mean, it doesn't look like how. Deborah Smith says maybe you could cover that topic. What sizes, size paper to buy in mass, etc. If one wants to hang up their art watercolor artwork. Yeah. If we don't want to sell them. Yeah, that's a good. I mean, I, I don't know right now. I just. Um... Once he figures it out, he'll make a video. You know, cause, I mean, you just look at frames, like, in stores. I mean, I like buying my frames online, so, like, I just look at, like, what are the standard sizes I could get. You know, 8x10, 11x14, 9x12, 5x7, 6x8, stuff like that. And then, you know, you either buy a large watercolor sheet of paper and then just cut it down into whatever you want. And, you know, and then just... It, depends on how you want it matted like I don't know I'm looking into matting mine where some people mat it right up against the artwork and I like some people that have like a little white space around the artwork um you know it's it all just it's all personal preference and what you like and what you think is going to work yeah yeah a says oh my god you, 
Ooh, first of all, this is in all caps. So, oh my God, you should go to Pakistan. It's amazing. <laughs> when you go, let me know. I'll show you guys around. Oh, is she in Pakistan? I... Are you in Pakistan right now, or, or you, did you travel there? I thought I thought they traveled there. I'm not sure. Well, I'm asking. Mm -hmm. Amanda says, do you still have any sketches from your childhood or school kid years? Uh, yeah, my mom has them all. Um, eventually, I probably want to get them, or at least take photos of them. They're all in binders and stuff um, with the little... Uh, clear what are those things called like clear protectors yeah. you put paper in um so yeah i still have a lot of those i i have been thinking about put, making videos of them and stuff but i'd have to call my mom and have her like either send me photos or just send me the binders but i don't really have a lot of room to put them anywhere either so kind of just wait until i get a house or something and then yeah and, and on that topic your arrow why says why no more oils ever go back to them Space. we're just out of room for oils right now and i'm trying to just focus on selling the oils and honestly i really enjoy the easy cleanup and quickness of watercolor for plain air and right now my focus has just been on painting outside doing plain air and doing these live streams and just doing smaller small works right now and unfortunately, that's just where my focus has to be. And uh, so that's what I'm doing. Yeah, no, we've been in the same tiny apartment for five years now. Yeah, we've been in the same apartment. It's, it's a 400 square foot no. footprint. Oh, yeah. And we have an upstairs. So technically, it's like 650 square foot or something. But um, yeah, it's just super small and, you know. We've been here for five years. We've accumulated a lot of stuff. So. It wouldn't feel so small if we didn't have so many hobbies like painting. Yeah, we have musical instruments and painting and... Sports equipment and books. Yeah, we just have a lot of junk. And then work areas for both of us. And we're constantly... I'm constantly getting rid of stuff. Trying to optimize the space. And yeah, oils right now is just not my focus, unfortunately. I never thought watercolor would be my focus, but uh, right now I just, I think it's really gonna help my oil painting in the long run because I have to be so focused with each stroke and stuff that I do in watercolor. And I think it's, when I go back to oils, I think I'm, it's gonna be, uh, I think it's gonna be good. Yeah, we could probably find it on YouTube or something. But like I said, I don't have time to watch stuff, unfortunately. Yeah, like maybe once or twice a month we'll watch a movie at home, but we don't yeah. watch a whole lot of stuff. Deborah Smith says Colorado is beautiful and a nice place to visit. Yeah, especially right now, man. All the aspen trees are yellow. It's uh, It's unreal. Uh, Nuya says, no, I'm in England. I just came back. I was born there and often visited throughout my life. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, Pakistan's cool, dude. I'm, I'm really excited to go there one day and just check it out. I mean, it, it's such an, I think it's such an interesting place because the, the history is so uh, interesting. I don't know a whole lot about it, but it seems very interesting to me anyway. Ahmed says it's unfortunate that we don't consume more television. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. Different things in life. Yeah. Be happy. We're not big. Going. I gotta, I gotta make a living. That's more important to me than anything else. So, for the most part. Um, Sharon Merriweather says, "What weight of arches are you using, and is it hot or cold?" Cold press, press hundred. Cold press, 140 pound. Um, this came from, this particular sheet came from a watercolor block that I cut down. I can't remember what, you know, I, I think it's smooth. It doesn't seem rough or anything. Um, so, yeah, I'm not 100% sure. It's not, like, the best quality that, like, you could buy in a sheet. But, um, yeah, I mean, it gets, it's getting the job done, I think, for me right now. 
Deborah Smith says, what is the easiest and most inexpensive convenient size to frame? Sometimes guidelines help so we know what size paper to buy, especially if we don't have a cutter. Um, Amanda. Well, just use scissors and a ruler. You just draw out the line and then you just, you can cut it with scissors or a utility knife. Um, you don't need like a paper cut or anything. You know, you got to keep it simple as possible. Amanda says the standard picture sizes are easiest to find. 8 by 10, 5 by 7, 4 by 6. Yeah, exactly. 9 by 12, 11 by 14. Yeah, you just go online and the frame sizes are, you can find them out there. You know, or you can thrift frames, uh, you know, go to antique stores, go to thrift shops and find used frames. Um, yeah, you can buy, yeah, Goodwill, yeah, all those places stores. have... You know, if you want something new, you can get stuff at Michael's with coupons or TJ Maxx. Um, it doesn't, yeah, you've used a couple of, um, I don't know how antique they are, but old frames that yeah. we bought at um, antique shops. shops. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, you just got to go on Google and just look up standard picture sizes and then what you do is you get a large sheet of watercolor paper or a small or a, you know an 11 by 14 sketchbook from Michaels of watercolor paper and then from there you use a ruler measure it out draw it out you can cut it out down from 11 by 14 you can cut to make smaller sizes that are standard mat sizes and frame sizes go to Michaels they have standard frames and standard mat sizes i mean it's really easy to find this stuff <clears throat> oh yeah and also if you don't like i know i have a hard time cutting as straight with scissors exacto knives are yeah that's pretty cool but you make sure you have a cutting mat um, yeah you can get a, a self-healing cutting mat or just if you have a piece of wood go outside i mean it's like a million things you can do um but it's just uh you just gotta figure it out you know whatever's gonna work best for you if you're not good with scissors, then get a knife. If you're not good with a knife and a ruler, find someone you know. You got to know someone that would just help you cut it real quick. Or just buy pre-cut. Yeah. Um, I think some of the notebooks might even have things where you can tear it out fairly easily. Uh, or you can rip it out so you only have one edge to have to cut. Yeah. I mean, there's they have standard sketchbooks and stuff. and Yeah, I mean, that's just simple. Simple stuff, man. Uh, my friend Liv says you should visit Liverpool. Great art going on here next time. Yep, I've heard that. Um, Deborah Smith says what kind of paper do you use, etc. and where? Arches cold press 140 40. pound paper. Yep, Arches cold press 140 pound right now. That's what I'm using. Uh, Jesus Mora says looks great. Oh. Mike Manning says is this being recorded so we can replay? I'm coming to this session a little late. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's going to be a replay. Um, it usually takes a little while to process on YouTube, but after about an hour or something. Like, you could watch it later on tonight or tomorrow or whenever. Um, so. J.S. Hada says, bye, got to go. Bye. Bye, thanks for tuning in. I think I'm almost done with this. I'm just kind of overworking it now. But uh, foreground here is a little weird, but... It always looks worse on the when I look up at the screen. It always it looks. It's so different coloring. I know, but it is what it is. Yeah. I'll take a photo later, post it on um, social media. You guys can see like an actual good, um, you know what it really looks like. Evangeline Poe, after scoring paper, rip it for a nice deco edge. Yes, that's another. Oh way. yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Um, Ahmed says we can listen to the music. Um, <laughs> We could. We could. Uh, era wise, every reuse old canvas paintings from the thrift store and paint over them. Is this an acceptable practice? I do it. Um, I never have, but yeah, go for it. Why not? I've seen some really cool things where people buy thrift store paintings and then like paint little monsters into landscapes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's art, man. You can do whatever you want. You know, like there's no like acceptable acceptable to who the art world or you know acceptable to what naya a says okay i gotta go thank you so much for your cool stuff and letting us into the process keep going i'm so glad i caught this live stream i've been following you since you had long locks of hair so <laughs> bye thanks appreciate it it's you been know, a while cutting cutting off those long locks was just such a satisfying experience for me <laughs> <laughs> you like the long hair yeah i know it was
was too it doesn't mean it wasn't fun to get <laughs> Yeah. It felt freeing once I did. I didn't have to You looked like such a little kid when once you did. Uh -huh. And then you like had a backpack and you were going to work and yep. it was like Brandon's first day of school. Um I feel like I need some splattering or something on this. It's just too um, it says, See ya. clean. Ra Ra says, hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you. Thanks, you too, man. Hope you and your weekend's going well. Hope you have a good week. Hope you have a good life. All that stuff. Linda Hardy says, I had to leave but came back. This is awesome. Love it. Thanks. Appreciate it. Do I add splatters? What do you guys think? Do I do a little bit of splattering here just to give it some painterly quality? I want to know what you guys think. Okay. Just curious. <laughs> well, just let see what they say. They can hear me. Do I add splattering? I don't know, man. You got one yes. One yes. All right, that means do it. <laughs> Another yes. Another yes. <laughs> Another yes. All right, so that means I don't do it. One, two, three, four. I was gonna four do splatters, splatter bridge, sparingly splatter. Yep. Always yes, yes, but not on the sky. And sure. All right, so that means I don't do. I was just gonna see what you guys said, and I was gonna do the opposite. So thanks for your answers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then splatter, splatter. Thanks for taking the the poll there. Appreciate it. Texture splatter bridge. <laughs> Yeah, you can cover it like sheet of paper. You can cover it up. No splatter, but texture bridge. Clay Hendrick says, "I'm vegetarian too. What blood type are you?" I have no idea. Human. Human blood type. Uh, Anne born. <laughs> Good day. You're almost done. Unfortunately, I slept in. Looks lovely. And there's going to be a replay, so you can catch up and watch it all. Yep. Always a replay. Books a bomb. Says, "LOL, nice." Linda Harvey says, okay, no, haha. -ha. <laughs> For the splatters, probably. No, I'm going to add some. I was just, I'm just playing around Where with you guys. Says, splatter beige, and then in all caps, now. <laughs> Maybe that was supposed to say bridge. I don't know. Or beige. Says, beige bridge. I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing. Getting too detailed is what I'm doing. Stop overworking and take a second. Just oh, I got to put some darks in there. Let me look at it from a few feet away. Oh, yeah, it looks pretty. Says, oh, I thought you were alien. Human blood type, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, well. Says, Add it, please, the splatters. Yeah, it Sharon, definitely needs it. Sharon Merriweather says, maybe a bit more shading on the right, on the bright part of the bridge. Not the right, the bright. Yeah, maybe. A little more texture and stuff here on this side. Well, I don't really want to ruin this, but... I like this. Uh, I feel like, eh, maybe not. I don't know. The green, it's like too much Viridian in the foreground and stuff. It's a little funny looking, huh? Compared, well, let me, let me look at like it. Like it needs to be. Doing. I'm looking at the camera screen. It needs to be more like of a yellowy green. Slightly. Well, I don't know. This is very. Some of it. Bright, and I feel like it's not quite. It's almost it a little more, more red. Nice. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It just needs to be a grayer, green, warmer green. I forgot about all the sheets until we painted them. Yeah. yeah. Freak out my son, Nathan. Tell him it's bedtime. Who, Nathan? Yes, tell Nathan it's bedtime. <laughs> I think it's bedtime, Nathan. Go to bed. Gotta get to bed, son. Sleep is super important. Um, yeah, I'm just going to rework some of this a bit. I don't know why. Clay says he's A- negative, do well, does well with plant type diets. Oh, that's cool. I don't know about the whole blood type thing, man. I don't really. 
look into it or anything? I don't know. I've heard people say that if you have a negative blood type that you're... And that means you don't have a rhesus monkey, you know, factor. That means you're actually alien. Like, people Uh people make up some weird stuff for the blood types. They even go as far as to be like, well, you shouldn't date other people who are certain blood types, sir. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know what it all means, so... I just try to live my life and be happy. And eat stuff that I like to eat. Sharon Merriweather says better. Well, Sedant Singh says, I think you ruined your masterpiece. Yeah, it's a little dark, but... Airwise says textured foreground. I don't know that it ever was a masterpiece, but... Um... I don't know, I didn't like the green that I had there, so... I had to do something. And if I ruined it, then that's fine. I went for it, man. Gotta take a risk. End of the day is a piece of paper. Yeah, I think I want this to be lighter and have dimension or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Mike Fran lives says thanks. Good night, guys. <laughs> hope Nathan went to bed. Yay. I said I hope. Oh, yeah, I hope know. he goes to bed. Um, Linda Harvey says, I wonder what blood type says I have to have chocolate every day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You just got to find the right doctor that lets you have chocolate every day. All right, guys, I'm going to stop overworking this one. This one's just... Did you splatter? I'm about to right now. Oh, okay. Because before I just keep going, everybody's going to be like, yeah, it's ruined now. <laughs> oh. It's all good. Oh, now it's ruined, son. Yeah, he's got a big blob on his head. That's fine. Try to let it be spontaneous. Take a Kleenex and dab the green for texture. That looks cool. I don't know. I'm not happy. I'm not a fan of the greens in this painting. Another but person says try blotting off some of the green with a paper towel or dry sponge. I went too, too Viridian with this, but... um. I will say it looks better in person and not on the screen. Yeah, it looks but, way um, too dark on the screen and like a lot more contrasted on the screen than it does in real life. Yeah. I mean, the colors are just a little funny, but Do it is what it is. Do you have them like they've asked or no? Do we have a Kleenex? I'll get you a Kleenex. I'll get you some toilet Or a paper towel. I don't care. Okay, I'll use a paper towel. Let's try it. Let's try it. Yeah, I feel like there needs to be like more yellows or reds in the greens here. And some of them actually, yeah, and the lights up here in the trees is more yellow. Second go says, I love the splatters. Clay Hendricks says, great painting. And some clean water. All right, let's try this. Yeah, I'm just going to experiment. I don't really care about how this thing comes out. So let's let's just see what it does. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's good. Let's give it a cool texture. I mean, I don't know that I really want texture in the foreground, but... I'm all for just trying something new and exper- I mean, this whole thing is just about experimentation, so... If I can lighten it up a bit. Salt? Yeah, salt really gives a really cool effect. I don't want to put it on this, but... Okay. It does give a cool effect. I've done that in the past, years ago. Uh, Ahmed the Moon Cage says, can you say something in an overhyped voice? No, I'm, I'm never overhyped. <laughs> I don't it's even know what that means. To I'm, too, I'm too chilled out for that, man. Amanda says, well, I love it. Thumbs up. <laughs> well, at least... Says, Dab up the clots on water. Just one person. One person loved it. Yeah, I'm going to redo the splattering. Oh, probably these spots here. I mean, that's the thing, like, here, I'll just, this is the lesson in this, is, like, you can't be too afraid to mess something up, you know? 
Like, so many people are, like, too afraid to try something. They're, like, it's going to mess up the painting. But I think, yeah, the splatters on the water, maybe. At the end of the day, it's, like... You see where... He, yeah, that. Reflection, yeah. yeah. You need a new paper towel? I'm going to leave them. Okay. I'm going to do so more. I don't care. Okay. I'm doing more splatter. Evangeline Poe says, looks great. Thanks so much, Brandon and Melissa. You're welcome. Nice yeah, I mean, it's still a little too weird looking, but uh, I'm just going to roll with it. Ink and Flame says, oh, I only did my second watercolor the other day after taking a class a few weeks ago where I did my first. This is fun to observe, smiley face. Cool. Glad to hear. Hope it's somewhat helpful. <laughs> Sharon Merriweather says, let it dry and then you can touch up the foreground. Yep. That's um, what I thought. Well, I'm splattering up. Like I'm splattering up. Boom, there we go. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not a weebo or weebo, whatever. Weeaboo. Like yeah. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Alright, one thing I want to do, I want to add some more. I want to get some more yellow going in this thing. So, I'm just going to have fun with this thing now because i try my best here. I want some more yellow greens. Gaines says a fantastic time. You are very fantastic. I'm a little, 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 little paint artist. Thank <laughs> you very much for this lesson. I am one of your fans, Alice. Thanks. I appreciate it. I don't know that it's much a lesson. It's more of just like, here's me painting and experimenting and, you know, just, just living it, man. This is the process, you know. Well, my process, anyway. Oh, yeah, that's true. Evangeline Poe says, gotta go. Bye, all. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Ahmed says, yes, I have been classified as a weeaboo. <laughs> no, we weren't saying you were. We just said <laughs> you weren't. <laughs> Airwine says, stop, stop. I don't know who she's talking to, Ahmed or us, but... Both. Yeah. It all needs to stop. Is this dry? It is almost dry. I just want to add some more yellows in the foreground. But. I know everybody's hating this one splatter right there. Can I get rid of it? Of course. There we go. A little cleaner on the bridge there. Yeah, it's almost dry foreground, but I'm going to let it. I'm going to let it dry. I feel like this is a weird color, but I like it. Amanda says I like fan brushes for splatter. Oh yeah, that would work too. There's so many different ways to do things, and that's kind of that's a good point. I mean. Yeah, this one's overworked a little bit, especially the foreground, but, um, you know, not a horrible effort, I don't think. I feel like I would have done better plain air, because, like, it's, it's, when you're plain air, it's like, you gotta, like, figure out what is the most important thing and just get it as quickly as possible. And with something like this, when I'm answering questions and painting slowly and stuff it just it's a lot easier to overwork something and spend too much time on it like this is like I could have done like three or four planar sketches by now at this speed so it's just interesting how many people do we have still is anybody still watching uh, everybody left when I screwed up the foreground I think Slacking on the job, dude. No. This I is work. Say, okay, you know what? It was all about weeaboos and whatever, so uh, I was like, zoomed out for a second. 
Um, Linda Harvey says, I'm so glad to have caught your live show. I really enjoyed this. Love how the graph turned out, and I like the splatters. Thank you both. Thank you. Thanks for the kind words, man. I appreciate it. Her woman. Wise said, join the journey. Schaefer is a good guide. David Horkin says, what brand of paint and brushes do you use? Uh, brushes are just some cheap brushes. They're not a particular brand. Um, I don't even know what they were. Um, there were some free ones I got a few years back. But I'm using a round and a filbert. You could use a flat. Um, you know, they're just synthetic, cheap brushes. I mean, so yeah, I mean, it's all personal preference. Just find brushes you like. I've heard the Escoda brushes are pretty good. I'll probably get some of those eventually, but not this year. I'm saving up. Um, as far as paints, I mean, Daniel Smith, you know what I mean? Everybody says Daniel Smith, so yeah. <laughs> I'm using M. Graham and some other, like, student grade ones right now, but, you know, I, I don't really have a particular brand or anything. Clay Hendricks says, y'all guys are awesome. I enjoy y'all show. Appreciate it. We love y'all too, son, from the South. That's where I'm from. Uh, yeah. Sharon Merriweather says it really is lovely. Yeah, I don't know if I believe you, but okay, thanks, appreciate it. Seven Sun One says, I was just about to say that the shadows under bridge should be darker. Uh, yep, <laughs> good eye. Got a good eye, that's what I'm working on. Just tuned back in and it's looking great. Oh, really? I don't know, man. It's We're at 52 right now. I think we peaked out around a little over 70. It's a little, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty rough, but, uh, you know, you just learn from this experience and apply it to, I'll apply it to my next one, you know. Income Flame says, Brandon, do you have videos or a playlist on your channel you would recommend to a beginner watercolor painter? Uh, currently not yet. Working on it, though. Yeah, working on it. Um, if you uh, can watch the past couple of live streams, um, the waterfall one and the um, puffin one, because he talked a lot about watercolor there. Yeah, I mean, you can watch the live streams I've had. I haven't had much. My cat just jumped up on the table. Oh, I didn't <laughs> Yeah, I don't really have uh, too many. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be coming out with a bunch of different like tutorials and just showing you my process for a lot of my plain air paintings. I film all of them, and uh, so I'm working on those. But right now, no, not much. Just these kinds of videos, live streams, and um, I feel like I have some watercolor videos. I'm not sure yet. Though. I'm not sure if I have any like tutorials or like for beginner videos. Getting down to drawing basics is really important for... Yeah, I mean, drawing more is always going to be good, but, um... Yeah, watercolor, it's basically, like, just do what I did. Like, get a crappy little sketchbook, get some paints, and just start painting every, every, anything you're interested in and, and painting from life and just learning. <laughs> it's basically what I did. Looks great now, even with the big ugly dot on the sky, winky face. Oh, that one? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, it's fine. I'm Thank not too worried. Says, Thanks, I'll check out the past few live streams. And keep tuning in, because we're doing basically every week in the past couple weeks. Yeah, I mean, we're going to try to keep it up if we can. Um, there might be some weekends where we don't can't do it, but... Uh, yeah, we're going to try to keep up the habit, and... You know, it only takes a few hours of the day, so... And if you haven't... If you guys haven't been watching... Uh, Watch the travel vlogs that he's putting out every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday as we go through England, England. parts of Europe. Yeah, definitely check out the travel vlogs. Pretty cool, man. Um, man, I feel like I just want, like, I should have did more color variety. Like, I really needed, like... You're overthinking it. No. This is the last thing I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> After like an hour that. later, I know. I I really want like. You were like almost 
almost done at one. It's one thirty-five. I don't know. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. There's just like I don't know. I want like more color variety, like in the foreground. Like I want some purples and there is like purple in there if you look. There is like some purples and stuff. So I'm trying to add some kind of variety. This is too, way too dark, but I'm gonna lighten it up here in a second. Airwise says you have allowed me to experiment and enjoy the process more of painting. Thank you so much. Been watching for a while. Always something to inspire. Cool. Thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of like what my channel is about, just like experimenting, having fun with art and just doing your best, you know, it's like. Inca Flame says, yes, I'm working on my drawing more than my painting at the moment. If so, you should check out his drawing playlist. Ahmed says, I think I'm having a cold, if not even winter. <laughs> Bummer. I missed like my first day of work this summer from a horrible cold. Yeah, well, you're special. Yeah, well, I was laid out. Um, in complaints... All right, I'm done. I might miss some as I have a big family to keep up with, too. But playback works for me. Cool. Uh, my there daughter sent me this semester abroad in Copenhagen, but today her class travels to Vienna for the week. Oh, wow. Did you get to either of those cities? I need to catch up on your travel videos. We didn't, but we would definitely love to go to them both in the future. Yeah. My uncle and aunt travel there to those cities a lot. Yeah, we haven't been there yet. We've only been through England, and that's pretty much it. you got to watch the rest to see. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's a playlist on my channel. It's called, um, if you go to my channel page and then go to playlist, you'll see uh, England trip 2018, and that's all the current videos right now. So definitely check those out if you're into that. Zombie Mexican says I'm enjoying the travel vlogs, LOL. Thank cool. You. Thanks, I appreciate it. I don't think there's too much more gift shops, thankfully. No, <laughs> no. Made yeah, there's not many more gift shops, but it was fun while it lasted. I only got one, I only bought something at one gift shop. Yep. The whole trip. Yeah, because we don't have money. Yeah, that's true. Um, Sharon Merriweather says, do it, purple. Yeah, I think I'm about done there. Um. Uh, yeah. Here, let me see. It's not yeah, bad. You gotta hand it to me. You know I'm what? It's not bad. Came out pretty well. So, it definitely looks worse on screen, I will say that. Um, I know this is bugging one person, and it's kind of bugging me now, so. Let's see if I can get rid of this. And my water's dirty. Getting it dirty. You want new water? That's how you know you've been working on it too long and my little water dishes are t too dirty. Zombie Meshin says, did you, I'm not sure where exactly, but did you see the Monty Python castles? Uh, no, we did it. I don't know that reference, man. I don't know Monty Python, unfortunately. And so many people over the years have like always referenced that. And I'm like, I don't know. I've never watched it. Um, I probably need to one of these days, but no, I don't think we did. Uh, we didn't knowingly <laughs> go to any, but because yeah, so somebody commented. somebody commented. I don't know if it was him that commented, but somebody commented and, and said something about the Peveril Castle. They were like, "This reminds me of Monty Python when the French were yeah. something at him." It was mostly a Jane Austen trip, which was great. So yeah, see, it looks way better with the uh, tape off there. I love that now. So Peter Wright says, "Whoa, that's looking good." Yeah. says, ever do clean air oils from your bike on location? Videos? Yeah, I did in the past, actually. Uh, I think it was 2015 or 16. If you go to my channel, go to my channel page, youtube.com slash Schaefer Art, and then click on Playlist tab. You'll find um, Plain Air Adventure. It's a Plain Air Adventure playlist, and I have, uh, I think, like 13 videos, 15 videos, something like that in there. So check those out. That was something I did. So anyway, um, I can shrink this now. Ingham Flame says it's looking great, more realistic than when I started watching about 10 minutes ago. Peter cool. Wright says taking the tape off is the best when you finish a watercolor painting. Yeah. What I, um, what I, 
wish I would have done with this one um, is in the foreground. I wish I would have had more, and in the trees, probably more variety of color instead of just greens. I kind of lost sight of that, and that's something I normally do is have more color variety going on. And uh, yeah, it didn't happen in this painting. You know, I would have had more purples, and I feel like reds and stuff. Um, just slightly here and there, but it is what it is. I mean, it, it came out um, as best as I could get it, so. Clay Hendricks is wondering if it's medical tape. No, it's artist tape. You can get it on Amazon. It's called artist tape. So check that out. How thick is it? I get the three-fourths of an inch artist tape. Luminosity All right. Says peeling off the tape. I can take over now. I got it. Cool, yeah, definitely check them out. Many more travel videos to come still, um, next few weeks. Ahmed wants to know what we think of his profile picture. I am going to respond to this one. It makes me uncomfortable. Oh, uh, okay. Whatever. You really like the foreground. Thanks, I appreciate it. I think, I mean, I, it came out better than I thought it was going to for a while. Um, yeah, I think the greens are just, it's a little off. Um, there should have been more red in the greens. I used, the Viridian that I have is a little too fake looking um, as a color. I don't know that I'm gonna keep using Viridian in the future, but, because um, I have two blues on my palette already phthalo blue and ultramarine and I have two yellows or three yellows so I don't really need viridian but uh, you know it is what it is it's a it's an interesting uh, interesting little painting I think I lost lost connection on my painting there on the phone. I'm not sure why, but uh But anyway, uh, if anybody has any last minute questions here before I get off, I'm going to I got to eat some lunch and stuff and maybe do some plein air painting uh later on today or something, but uh I got some work to focus on. No cat tax today cuz she's sleeping. Yeah. I don't know what's up with my phone here. Why did I lose connection? I'm gonna try to restart it. There we go. We're back in business, folks. Yeah, I mean, sap green is cool, but I don't even know that I need a green at all. Um, Cause like, even if I use Viridian, I'm still gonna mix it with yellow or blue and or red. So it's almost like I might as well just use blue and yellow anyway. Cause like if I'm out on location, I'm still gonna be mixing it. So yeah, I, I don't know. I just know I added, I didn't add enough red to the mixture here or yellow. Um, I just went a little too cool with it and it, you know, I just, looks kind of fake. I mean, I'm happy with how the trees came out a bit here. Very nice grayish, gray colors there. But yeah, as far as, you know, some of this is just a little too raw, you know, too much raw um, Viridian in there. Ah, oh, I lost connection again. What the heck? That's what this, I'm glad it didn't happen during the during the stream so much, but I don't know why my phone keeps losing connection there. But anyway, um, yeah, I don't really have a favorite artist. Um, it's probably somebody that's dead. I like a lot of dead artists, their work from a hundred years ago, but I don't really have like favorite artists. But anyway, guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining. That's pretty much it for this live stream be sure to stay tuned for the um, next one maybe next weekend 
either Saturday or Sunday is usually when I do them. I try, I'll try to, uh, from now on, like this one, I really planned ahead like two days and scheduled it as an event. So try to do that in the future. And, uh, maybe next time I'll do a autumn scene. I have a lot of photos from yellow and reds and red trees and stuff. So that'd be pretty cool. I think, uh, try to do an autumn scene and uh, eventually do some portraits, maybe self portrait of me or something and maybe a portrait of my cat. So maybe that's the next three live streams. Um, sounds pretty, pretty legit. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm super happy about how the painting came out, but there's a lot of areas that I really enjoy. I think the water, the reflections, the bridge, the grass next to the bridge, um, the sky. I mean, really what needs work are the greens in this. And if I wanted to, I could probably go back over them again, but, um, I don't know that I'm going to do that. I think I'll just leave it how it is and have it be a reminder to work on my greens a little bit more. But, you know, it's it's an honest, honest effort today, so. Never tried brown ochre, never heard of it. Um, I try to just keep it pretty basic with the colors I use. I know it seems like I use a lot, but I mean, it's, you know, it's it's basically like a warm and cool of of every color for the most part, you know, and maybe like a brown, like a warm and cool red, magenta and red, warm and cool yellow, warm and cool blue, and, you know, just a brown and then a convenience color, black convenience color. So that's basically how I try to keep it, you know, warm and cools and then just convenience. And convenience means like when I'm out on location, yellow ochre is super quick to to use like I don't have to mix especially in California the grass out here is that golden color boom yellow ochre I barely need to mix anything else with it so it's just super convenient and I should have used yellow ochre in these greens on this painting um, and it, you know I would have come out a little bit better but uh, you know I think the drawings pretty much on point the reflections here the values are pretty solid you know maybe the grass is a little too dark and too much texture and things going on there but yeah anyway yeah they can delete their message if they don't want it on there yeah greens can be pretty tricky but uh usually i'm, I'm not too disappointed in my greens usually you know i like the greens in the water here i like this green some of the greens up here, but uh, yeah, just uh, it's too much viridian, that's all. So anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. Exactly, don't stress over it. Thanks for that, exactly. You know, you just gotta move on to the next one, you know? Like I said, if something doesn't turn out right, man, I'm just super pumped that uh, I learned something from it. And more importantly, that I actually did a painting. You know, most people are too afraid to even start a painting, so. You know, I try to just do a painting every day when I can and just put the work in, put the effort in and do it. So thanks you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Stay tuned for next episodes. Check out all my other videos. I'd appreciate it. And uh, don't get discouraged. Keep on painting and drawing. Take care of yourself. Peace. Enjoy your Sunday.